Hi guys, welcome to Java coding interview questions. This is Sandeep. Today we'll see one of the important coding interview question, bubble chart. So for any product based company or service based company these days, this is one of the important interview question sorting technique. One among that is bubble sort. Let's go over the what is bubble sort and how and I'll be explaining what is the bubble sort technique and I'll take an example and how and I'll show how bubble sort works. And finally, we will write a code to implement bubble sort. Okay, so try to be uh, try to listen carefully this video. So first one, bubble sort explanation or bubble sort definition also we can say. So what we do in this bubble sort technique? In this bubble sort technique, what we do is elements are sorted in ascending or descending order as per the user requirement. Elements will get sorted in ascending or descending order. But how they will be getting sorted? by comparing two adjacent elements and place them in based on ascending or descending order. So here the key point is by comparing two adjacent elements. By comparing two adjacent elements, we will swap the elements if the element is greater or lesser and then we will go to the next pass. Okay. So in bubble sort what happens is we will compare adjacent elements and if they are one if uh, they are uh, greater than it will be sorted in ascending if it is less than we will sort it in the descending if we have n elements then this sorting technique requires n minus 1 passes to sort if we have n elements suppose if you have 5 elements then the sorting technique requires 4 passes to sort what do you mean by passes pass is nothing but the iteration okay if we have 5 elements we will require 4 passes to sort if we have 3 elements we require 2 passes to sort okay hope you guys understand this point i'm moving to the next slide so first this is the example so what we'll do is we'll sort these five elements in ascending order okay we'll sort these five elements 9 8 7 5 6 so how many passes are required as i told you for n elements n minus 1 passes are required to sort as we have five elements we need four passes to sort so in the first pass so as i told you four passes four passes are nothing but four iterations so first one is nine eight seven five six so these are the elements so first what we will do is we'll compare adjacent elements as i told you compare adjacent elements nine and eight are compared since nine is greater than eight eight and nine will get swapped so eight becomes nine nine becomes eight and in the next here in the next step what happens is 9 and 7 will get compared 9 and 7 will get compared since 9 is greater than 7 these two elements will get swapped 7 comma 9 okay and in the third step what happens 9 and 5 will get compared 9 and 5 will get compared since 9 is greater than 5 5 and 9 gets swapped 5 and 9 gets swapped and in the fourth one 9 and 6 since 9 is greater than 6 6 and 9 will be swapped. Okay. So what we are taking at any point of time, we will take two elements, two adjacent elements and we will compare with each other. If they are greater than each other, then what we are doing? We are swapping. 9 is greater than 8. Swap. 9 is greater than 7. Swap. 9 greater than 5. Swap. 9 greater than 6. Swap. Okay. This is the first pass. So at the end of the first pass, what are the elements? 8, 7, 5, 6, 9. Now let's go to the next pass, second pass. So whatever the elements at the end of the first pass we got, I copied here. 8, 7, 5, 6, 9. So, so the same logic again. Compare first two elements, first two adjacent elements. 8 greater than 7, true. So 7 and 8 will be swapped. Next 8 greater than 5, true. So 8 and 5 gets swapped. 5 comma 8. 8 greater than 6, true. So it will get swapped. It becomes 6 and 8. So in the last iteration, 8 greater than 9. Is it true? No. 8 greater than 9 is false. So the elements remain unchanged. Element remains unchanged. Here we are not swapping at the in the last pass in the in the second pass, last iteration. So this is the second pass. Now let's go to the third pass. So what are the at the end of the elements? What are the <laughs> at the end of the pass, what are the elements? 7, 5, 6, 8, 9. So I am copying this 7, 5, 6, 8, 9 to the third pass. Third pass. 7, 5, 6, 8, 9. Third pass. So 7 is greater than 5. Is it true? True. So elements got swapped. 5, 7, 5 becomes 5, 7. 
Now 7 and 6 will get compared. 7 is greater than 6. True. Now elements will be swapped and 7 and next sorry 5 is greater than third pass 5 is greater than 6 second pass what we have element 7 5 6 8 9 so 7 5 6 8 9 i have copied 7 5 6 8 9 oh okay in, in, since 7 is greater than 5 true elements gets where 5 become uh, 7 5 becomes 5 7 and in the next uh, iteration what happens 7 greater than 6 true so 7 6 becomes 6 7 7 8 7 is greater than 8 true so 7 8 becomes 6 7 and in the next iteration what are the elements 7 is greater than 8 false so 7 and 8 remains unchanged okay in the next iteration 8 is greater than 9 false so element remains unchanged so 8 9 will copy to 8 9 so at the end of the third pass how, how many we have, what are the elements we have 5 6 7 8 9 now I'm copying this 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to the fourth pass. So this is the fourth pass. Uh, I have uh, I have given heading as wrong as third pass only I have given. So I'm just make it as fourth pass. This is the fourth pass. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So first two elements will get compared. 5 greater than 6. False. So element remains unchanged. 5, 6. 6, 7. Elements remain 6, 7. 6 greater than 7. False. Elements remain unchanged. So at the end of the fourth iteration, what happens is we'll get all sorted elements 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, this is how we sort the elements by using the bubble sort. So now let's go to the program and implement the logic. Okay, I'm writing the program now. First, I'm creating a class called bubble sort. New class bubble sort demo bubble sort demo now i am writing main method inside it main method inside this bubble sort okay so first what we will do we will take elements int int array int array equals to so what are the elements we have we will take the same elements here 9 8 7 5 6 9 comma 8 comma 7 comma 5 comma 6 so before what we will do is before sorting will print the elements so before sorting print the elements before sorting print the elements for this just write one for each loop which will take each element from the array and it will print so before sorting the elements we are printing and then now what we are doing is now we'll implement bubble sort algorithm okay so bubble sort write one method called bubble sort okay and here what we need to do to this method we need to pass the elements okay integer array which will give you sorted array okay now i'm passing this integer array now what I am doing is I am creating a method bubble sort. Why we are getting compilation error as we don't have a method called bubble sort. Now I am creating a bubble sort method. And in this bubble sort method what I am doing is I will implement the logic. Swapping logic. So as you know swapping logic how to do swap elements with the help of temporary uh, variable we can do sorting. We can uh, the, With the help of temporary variable we can do swapping. Uh, if you are not understanding the swapping logic, you will not, you cannot implement this bubble sort. So before coming to bubble sort, just learn the swapping logic and come to this. Okay. So for swapping logic, anyhow, I'll be explaining swapping here, but I'll not be concentrating more on the swapping part. I'll be concentrating more on the sorting part. Okay. And in this bubble sort, what I am doing? So first, we need to compare two adjacent elements. 
first element is what array of 0 and array of 1. So if array of 0 is greater than array of 1, swap it. Next, it should go to array of 1 and array of 2. Similar to, similar to, similarly array of 2, array of 3. So array of 1 and array of n. Okay, for that we need two loops. For int i equal to 0, i less than or equal to n, i plus plus. For int i equal to 0, i less than or equal to n, i plus plus. So what is n? n is nothing but array of length. This array of length. So I am directly giving array of length instead of uh, what do you say? n int array of length. Okay. Now for int j equal to 0 j less than or equal to or into j equal to not 0 1 and j less than or equal to int array dot length int array dot length minus j less than into array dot length minus i uh, we are getting and j plus plus okay uh, we are getting one compilation error let's see what is the compilation error okay as we didn't mention the braces we got compilation error oh uh, let's let me explain the loop Int i equal to 0, okay. I less than int array dot length i plus plus for int j equal to 1, j less than int array dot length minus i j plus plus, okay. So now what I what we are doing is if int array of int array of j minus 1 int array of j minus 1 greater than greater than int array of j int array of grid int array of j minus 1 greater than int array of j what we need to do we need to implement we need to swap the elements so how do you swap the elements We will take one temporary variable, I am naming it as int temp equal to 0. So temp equal to int array of temp equal to int array of j minus 1, temp equal to int array of j minus 1. Next, uh, int array of j minus 1, int array of j minus 1 equal to int array of j, int array of j minus 1 equal to int array of j. Now, finally, what we need to do, int array of j equal to temp, int array of j equal to temp. Okay, first what we need to do, we need to assign j minus 1 to temp variable and then int array of j minus 1 will become array of j, int array of j will become temp. Okay, so this is the important sorting logic. Now let's go to the, so when we pass the elements to this array, what will happen? Swapping will happen. Now we will go to the next line. So what we need to do again? We need to print the elements after sorting system dot out dot print ln and instead of before sorting here I am naming it as after sorting and implement the sorting and print the elements here okay print the elements here this is the logic hope you guys understand first uh, what we will do we will run the program and in the next step I will explain you each and every line 